hence harvesting emotions of these young girls. I had a blast watching Kill a Kill. Studio Trigger's first original anime really came out strong. To a quirky story of Mato Iruko looking for her father's killer, obtaining superpowers along the way from self will clothing to aid her in battle. To the colorful popping art style and interesting roster of characters such as Harame Nui really make this series for me. You would think from a character design that Nui is just your average cutesy lolita fashion girl, when in fact she is a powerful antagonist and grand couturier of the Refox Corporation, who is also revealed to be the murderer of Ruko's father. I'll face with a seemingly friendly and quirky demeanor when she is sadistically manipulative, laced with a deceivingly bubbly attitude, going as far as decapitating herself for the sake of her leader. Nui is a refreshingly different type of antagonist, who at first glance seems innocent until you quickly realize she's not. And who else can voice such an interesting character such as this other than the legendary Tamura Yukari? Show Tucker Show Tucker, infamous meme material, honestly a tragic story. Because of his infamousness in the anime world, many probably look at him and know who he is and what he did in the story of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. The older anime is a bit different but still tragic in regards. But those who haven't seen Brotherhood may at first think he is just a kind single father, aiming to live a happy life with his family, who turns out to be a selfish scientist hellbent to only keep his position in society, going as far as combining his daughter and her dog through alchemy into a chimera for fame. Tragic characters like Tucker and the exploration of humanity and emotions really make Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood a fantastic series to watch. Love this series and Tucker is the definition of don't judge a book by its cover. Kyube. When I first watched Madoka, I went into it blind, meaning I thought it was just going to be a cute girls doing cute things kind of anime. Back then I didn't really read the synopsis of what I was watching, I just looked at Madoka's character design, thought she looked cute, and went into watching. How wrong I was, but I loved the series regardless. And Kyube, what a deceptively looking creature. I wouldn't call it cute, well the manga depiction is cuter. But he doesn't seem like the type of creature that would create such an elaborate ploy central to the plot of Madoka. That is, putting it simply, playing on the emotions of adolescent girls, creating magical girls through contracts, forcing them to go out and battle witches. The twist being these magical girls eventually becoming witches themselves out of despair. This transformation generating energy for Kyube, who part of an advanced race of aliens are known as incubators with no emotions. Hence, harvesting emotions of these young girls to prevent the universe from entropy. Meaning that Cuba and his race are purposely putting these girls into an endless cycle of despair, but the end only in sight when humanity themselves are eradicated. Okay, maybe not so simple. Watch the series to find out more, but who would have thought, right, that an innocent cat looking creature could be part of a race to devise a plan of murder and despair? A wonderful story with beautiful art and an interesting take on the Maho Shoujo genre, a must watch. What are some other innocent but not characters you can think of in anime? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, likes and subs, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye!